now let us start with the session in last session i explained totally theoretical concept totally theoretical concept now we'll see the one example okay practically okay practically we will see the one example how to displaying the welcome message how to displaying the welcome message by using spring framework now we will see the one example practical orientation right now first of all we need to opening the eclipse id first we need to open the eclipse id after opening the eclipse id after opening the eclipse id take the one stand alone project click on file menu new new java project java project under that we can take the project name spring core project spring core project spring core project the next click on next button click on finish button after creating the project after creating the project first we need to add the jar files spring related jar files spring related jar files we need to add here how to add the spring related jar files spring related jar files right click on project name arrow mark build path arrow mark configure build path configure build path arrow mark click on libraries tabs arrow mark click on add external jars arrow mark under that we can place two jar files number 1 spring.jar number 2 commons logging commons logging dot jar click on okay click on okay now automatically path is going to be setted path is going to be setted now what is our responsibility now we can developing the files now we can developing the files so how to develop the files now just observing here extract the project arrow mark right click on src arrow mark new class new class now we can take here welcome project welcome sorry welcome bin not project welcome bin welcome bin under that we can develop the we can develop the small piece of code now here i am taken private private string string message string message the next after that we need to generate the setter method for this property so now how to generate the setter method select this property select this property arrow mark right click on that property arrow mark source under that generate getters and setters arrow mark click on select methods select setters then click on okay then automatically we are getting what setter method automatically we are getting what setter method after that public public void show public void show the next after that sysvo control space sys control space message message okay message this is my bin if we want to call the show method what is required object is required object is required if we want to call the show method object is required now i didn't create an object of this class this class object creation i am going to hand overing to the spring framework now the spring framework is responsible to creating this class object and the spring framework is responsible to gives to the that object to in our client application now your responsibility is to call this business method 
now your responsibility is to call this business method now how to hand overing to the this uh, how to hand overing to the this class to spring container first of all we need to develop here one spring configuration file we need to develop the spring configuration file so now spring configuration file how to develop right click on src new new others others xml next under that we can take uh, spconfig.xml spconfig.xml your choice any name you can take any name you can take after that copy the dtd from the existing applications existing applications and we can paste here otherwise otherwise copy that dtd from the net copy and paste here copy and paste why we are placing this dtd means here dtd internally is going to be converting the this total xml code according to according to that container understandable format dtd never be converting here internally internally sax parser or dom parsers are going to be activated whenever we are placing this dtd that two are compilers these compilers are going to be compiling this total xml code and gives to the that xml code to container now the container is going to be understanding that code and it is going to be creating the an object of welcome bin so now if we want to create the welcome bin object must and should we need to configure like this if we want to configure the any bin if we want to configure the any bin must and should we have to take here the root element called beans beans after that after that we can take the sub element called bean bean id is equal to id is equal to id1 then class equal to class equal to class equal to welcome bean class equal to welcome bean class equal to welcome bean after that we have to take the here property because of this setter method we have to take the property property name is equal to property name is equal to message property name equal to message then next value is equal to value is equal to property is the sub element of bin and value is the sub element of property element now we can take here welcome to welcome to spring framework otherwise welcome to durga soft private limited durga soft private limited durga soft private limited then close the value then next after that close the property close the property then next close the bin then close the bins whenever we are configuring the sorry whenever you want to create the any object we have to configure it like this if we want a welcome bean object we have to configure the okay bean like this under beans element any number of beans we can configure this is the root element root element for the okay all the beans then after developing the spring configuration file now what is our responsibility your responsibility is your responsibility is to develop the client application to develop the client application right click on src new new class i am going to take here client <coughs> client under that first of all we need to import the first of all we need to import the java packages so now spring related packages we can import here what are the two, two packages import import org dot spring framework dot spring framework dot core dot io dot 
iowa dot star package so what purpose we are placing this package so now here resource is equal to okay resource is equal to res is equal to new class path resource because of that reason i am going to place here okay first package now the second package import org dot spring framework dot beans dot factory factory dot star package then next import org dot spring framework dot beans dot factory dot factory dot factory dot xml these three packages must and should we need to import if you want to developing the client application in spring framework now here i am going to take main method main method main method the next resource res is equal to resource res is equal to resource res is equal to new class path resource new class path resource new class path resource so now under that we have to place what spring configuration file sp config dot sp config dot xml sp config dot xml then next after that we need to hand overing the this spring configuration file to container this is the loading now we can hand overing to the container how to hand overing bean factory bean factory factory is equal to new xml bean factory new xml bean factory new xml bean factory under that we can pass what res res right xml bean factory f a c t o r y okay bean factory then next after that what we have to do we need to get our bean object if we want to get our bean object now the spring container spring container means this is the spring container this totally we call them as this line we call them as spring container if we want to getting our bean object then what we have to do so now container was provided by the one factory method we can use that factory method we can use that factory method so now what is that factory method factory dot factory dot get b enough get b enough id 1 get b enough id 1 in xml i configured id 1 so now this get b method return type is what get b method return type is what object of object class object of object class object of object class that is the reason i am assigning to the here object of object class after that we can type casting to the according to our bin welcome bin welcome bin wb is equal to wb is equal to welcome bin welcome bin of o then next after that wb dot wb dot show method wb dot show method wb dot show method that's enough like this like this like this we can call the business methods now if we want to edge code this one right click on this file name arrow mark run as java application we are getting what welcome to durga soft private limited so like this by using this spring framework we can develop stand alone applications as well as we can develop the mbc applications okay we can develop the mbc related applications right now we'll see the now we'll see the dependency in the form of objective 
dependency in the form of objective this is what dependency in the form of primitive or string based values so now the setter injection is divided into totally three types right setter injection is divided into totally three types number one is what dependency in the form of primitive or string based values number two is what number two is what dependency in the form of objective number 3 is what dependency in the form of collections see for example here i am taking the class class sample bin sample bin under that private private string string message message the next private private int k this is what dependency in the form of this is what dependency in the form of primitive and string based values dependency in the form of primitive and string based values primitive and string based values string based values so then number 2 number 2 private private demo bin demo bin db db this is what dependency in the form of objective dependency in the form of in the form of an objective an objective the next private list data private list data the next private map string comma integer employees generic sonnet employees this is what whenever you are declaring like this this is the dependency in the form of collections dependency in the form of collections dependency in the form of in the form of collections collections like this setter injection is divided into totally three types just now we observed what term dependency in the form of primitive and string based values string based values now we'll see the dependency in the form of an objective now we'll see the dependency in the form of an objective right see now here how to how to okay designing this sum dependency in the form of an objective we will see very clearly right so now here i am taking the one class class sample bin sample bin under that private private demo bin db demo bin db this demo bin is also called as an inner bin inner bin this is also called as collaborator collaborator this is also called as dependency dependency like this different names are there we can call okay so now which one is uh, okay better for okay you are speaking then we have to take like that 
दिस इज वॉट आउटर बीन आउटर बीन दिस इज वॉट आउटर बीन दिस इज वॉट इनर बीन ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस डिपेंडेंट डिपेंडेंट लाइक दिस डिफरेंट नेम्स आर देर वी कैन कॉल ओके विच वन इज ओके विच वन इज ईजी फॉर टू स्पीक देन वी हाव टू यूज एंड वी कैन कॉल लाइक दैट आफ्टर दैट वी कैन टेक हियर सेटर मेथड पब्लिक बिकॉज दिस इज सपोर्टेड बाय द सेटर इंजेक्शन पब्लिक वॉइड सेट टू डी बी अंडर दैट डेमोबीन डी बी the next this dot db is equal to db the next public void show under that db dot m1 what is this m1 m1 is one of the method available to the demo bean class okay demo bean class we have to design like this class class demo bin class demo bin under that we have to take the one method public void public void m1 then next the next system dot out dot println i am the inner bin I am the inner bin. Like this, we can define the inner bins as well as outer bins. This is the inner bin. This is the inner bin. This is the outer bin. Now, how to creating this inner bin object and the outer bin object? I didn't create the inner bin object as well as outer bin object. Everything I am going to hand over into the Spring container. now the spring container is take care about to creating the this class object as well as this class object and finally those objects was going to be given to the in our application and your responsibility is to call the business methods now how to hand overing to the this inner bin as well as outer bin we can hand overing to the inner bin as well as outer bin like this so this is the spring configuration file sp config dot xml sp config dot xml under that we have to take what first of all dtd dtd then next after that the root element called beans the root element called beans under that sub element called bean bean id is equal to id1 class is equal to class is equal to sample bin class is equal to sample bin then next after that after that we have to take what property element why because here i am following to the setter injection i am going to following to the setter injection we have to take the property element property name is equal to property name is equal to db then next after that we have to configuring the inner bin how to configuring the inner bin bin class equal to bin class equal to bin class equal to demo bin bin class equal to demo bin we can configuring the inner bin like this after that close the property then next close the bin then next close the beans this is the outer bin this is the inner bin i closed here itself beans this is the way to configuring the inner bin as well as outer bin this is the way to configuring the inner bin as well as outer bin see for example for example in my client application in my client application i am going to making the request like this factory dot get bean of 
factory dot get bin of id1 id1 is what outer bin okay outer bin id is what id1 so now factory dot get bin of id1 i am making the request whenever we are making the request factory dot get bin of id1 first the container is going to be creating the sample bin object no or demo bin object no first the container is going to be creating the demo bin object why because the container always given to the preference to creating the inner bin only the container always creating the inner bin only preference is given to the inner bin then next it is given to the preference to the outer bin so now first it is going to be creating the inner bin like this demo bin db is equal to new demo bin new demo bin after creating the inner bin object the next it is going to be creating the outer bin object like this sample bin sample bin sb is equal to new sample bin new sample bin after creating the after creating the sample bin object because of setter injection here the spring container is going to be calling the setter method on this object sb dot set db sb dot set db and it is going to be passing the this object here where is the set db i defined already in our bean class set db by calling the setter method on this object and finally this object was going to be injecting to the in our application in our application now this is the local if you want to make a global then this dot db is equal to db then it is become a global then next after that term we can call we can call db dot show method here okay so now we can call here sb dot show method whenever we are calling the sb dot show method then automatically then automatically i am the inner bin like this it is going to be displayed by the inner bin messages like this we can injecting the inner bins inside the outer bin inside the outer bin so now first we will see the this example really it is injected or not practically right see now here see now here <coughs> right click on src new class under that i am taken first sample bin sample bin sample bin under sample bin i am taken private private demo bin private demo bin db then next generate the setter method for this property right click on project source generate setter then okay then next after that public void show public void show then db dot db dot m1 db dot m1 now we have to create the demo bin object also demo bin object also right click on src new class demo bin the next after that public void m1 the next sysvo control space i am the inner bin i am the i am the inner bin i am the inner bin i am the inner bin we can configure like this so now after that 
go to the spring configuration file this is my spring configuration file this is my spring configuration file inside this spring configuration file we can configuring the inner bin as well as outer bin how to configure bin id is equal to bin id is equal to id1 class equal to class equal to sample bin sample bin then next after that property property name equal to property name equal to db then next after that we have to take inner bin configuration bin class equal to bin class equal to demo bin bin class equal to demo bin then next after that close the property then next close the bin close the bin then finally close the bins like this we can configuring the inner bin as well as outer bin now go to the client application so now in this client application in this client application we can make a request factory dot get bin of id1 factory dot get bin of id1 then next after that we need to type casting to the sample bin sample bin sb is equal to sample bin of sample bin of o sample bin of o then next after that sb dot sb dot now here show sb dot show that's enough that's enough now we can right click on this client application run as java application we are getting what i am the inner bin i am the inner bin like this we can injecting the inner bins as well as outer bins inside inside our application okay inside our application right now here here there is even small problem whenever we are configuring like this whenever we are configuring inner bin as well as outer bins like this there is even small problem what is that problem here we will see here 